Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. This weekend, we have many interesting topics to cover. The first is on the life insurance sector where we will talk about the business models of insurance companies, how to value life insurance related companies and what is the outlook for the life insurance sector. The second is investment gamification where we will discover how game like elements can revolutionize your investment strategies for you to make more returns. The third is a 401k webinar where we will talk about how you can manage your wealth and make your wealth creation journey much more fruitful with your 401k. So if you are interested in any of them, click on the link below to register. If you've been tracking the markets, you obviously noticed the correction in the last few days. And the one question that a lot of investors are asking right now is whether they should participate in the dip and whether they should buy the dip. Now, the idea of buying the dip is to prepare for unexpected events in the market and be able to buy in or cash in on those really bad days. What we are actually seeing is a longer term change in how the market is going to operate. The market volatility that you are seeing in the last few days is likely to last longer and not disappear in one or two days. This is not a small correction. There is a lot of uncertainty in global markets, whether it's with respect to the US heading into a recession or with respect to how traders are going to respond to the yen appreciating uh, and you are seeing deleveraging happen. So whenever deleveraging happens, this is a cyclical event and it takes time. It's not going to be a one-off day in the market. So the first thing that investors need to understand is that we should not only approach investing as an event based game. Investing has to be something that we do more continuously. Second, we should not rush into anything just because we've seen a long uptrend in markets. We don't need to rush in and uh, participate in every dip that occurs. We need to be a little bit more patient than we've been uh, right now. So what is it that an investor can do today? An investor can firstly go through their portfolio and understand what are uh, ideas that are going to continue to perform, what are ideas that have run their course and what are ideas that they need to plant seeds in today. So conducting a comprehensive investment review is the need of the hour and restructuring the portfolio from that review is very important and actionable today. The second thing that investors can do is to start taking out profits and following a more multi-asset approach to investing. This will ensure that regardless of whatever is happening in the equity markets, you still have exposures to asset classes that can protect you in both an uncertain environment as well as an inflationary environment. So this is the second action item. The third action item is to learn to be a little bit more patient. This is a time for us to do more research, to think more about what we want our future portfolios to look like and to wait through this volatility and to participate at the right time. So this preparation time that we have right now is what is going to help us respond to volatility when it's the right time to respond. Today it's still early days. There's a lot that's happening in US markets, uh, in global markets and there are responses that you are seeing in the domestic markets. So this can actually be a very exciting phase for wealth creation and we would love to work with you on your journey. If you want to know more, you can contact us. The link is in the description below.